everybody! Now, we're gonna be- today we're playing more Home Safety Hotline, but to be more specific, we're playing some Seasonal Worker! Yippee! Uh, my options menu. What's- what's new here? Is it the color theme? Do I have a new color theme? Nope. All right then, I guess we're just doing, we're going straight into Seasonal Worker. Tis the season. Hang on, let me take a... a drink of water. Welcome back. Ooh. Well, we only get to experience your talents for one week every year, we want you to know that you are highly valued here and an important member of the HSH family. Best of luck this year, Rebecca. We're all counting on you. <laughs> oh boy. Comedy. Dog, I heard you were ba back in the office today. You aren't going to forget about coming to say hi to your best pal, Ronnie, from IT, are you? I know you wouldn't dare forget. Remember, I got serious dirt on you. Ooh, some of us actually remember last year's Christmas party. Anyway, glad to have you back. See you around. What did I do? <clears throat> Phenomena first sighted. Best interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Three days until Christmas. Okay, cheer levels, new mechanic. Uh, got a health bar, I guess. Clock in. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the classics. Antler growths. Huh? And for growing... It's the the new phone sound is It is I, spells. Carol. It is good to have you back in our employ, Rebecca. Thou art a lifesaver every season, and thy yearly return is appreciated as always. I, of course, have no need to tell you how things work here, but I will remind you that we are hosting our annual office Christmas party again the day after Christmas. It would please me to see you there. Oh, the day after? We're all counting on you, Rebecca. Wait, why is it the day after Christmas? Our lights keep flickering off, and we're trying to get our Christmas tree ready for when our folks arrive. Please. Oh, oh that's so little information. Oh, this is going to be a lot harder. Alright. Yeah, I know what an avalanche is. Large, large circular stone formation known to appear around homes during the winter. Homeowners with often report clear skies and find oh highly hazardous to homes and their inhabitants as the ground in the center of the formation drip. Oh no. Oh no. <coughs> and living in underground burrows. Sometimes extending their territory into human homes. Hono homeowners with dwarf infestations often report increased heat in their home, clattering, or banging sound. 
bones and finding rubble or holes in basement or cellars. L what? Elves do years they often inhibit large scale human social gatherings under the guise of being forgotten friends, family, or acquaintances. Homeowners who have made direct contact with elves often report headaches, nausea, or light headedness. Okay, I just suddenly was like, wait, does fast this cheer slowly drain, but no, it's fine. We're known for the lower immune response. Oh, to lower the immune response of people they come into contact with, often leading to. Oh, a new false. I love false. Okay. False calories are flocks of other human creatures. Draped in many layers of clothing, that are known for their pleasant singing vocalizations, for an approach. Okay. Missing neighbors. There's a very direct threat to humans and animals, as they are known to carry away anything that comes close enough to them, away to their nesting grounds to feed their young. False carolers are suspected to be present in a neighborhood. Oh, if false. Okay, all homeowners. Maybe I should stay inside. Sunrise. <coughs> Each night, most false carolers move onto other territory after a few consecutive nights of unsuccessful hunts. Okay, pest control. What? That are untethered from memory? They are known to dwell in uninhabited outdoor lo locations, such as forests or mountains, until they find new homes it's with those that are capable of witnessing and discussing them. Homeowners that have attracted a forgotten boggart often for strange sightings and obsession with discovery. Harmless to those unaware or indifferent to their existence, but are at risk of inhabiting homes. Okay. <coughs> Human creatures other human men. They are no one to lie dormant in their high waking up. are high territorial and damn people's foundation not be safely removed by human force. Huh. Interesting that the pest control service isn't human force. Small green subspecies of sprite known from having pine trees. <coughs> Harmless to flip to their own devices, but their behavior can turn hazardous if their home is disturbed. They have been known to sometimes use fires and electrical circuits when electrical devices such as lights are introduced to their home. Alright, it might be that. I'm thinking Boggart, honestly, but oh my god, there's so much to read up on day one. Red nose. Ugh. Red nose is a seasonal illness characterized by the primary symptoms of red berry -like growth emerging from the proboscis. Most commonly occurs in male animals, but can be transferred to humans via spores it releases once blossomed. Red nose is more painful during the growth stage. is generally harmless to humans and animals alike with proper rest and care. Red nose will go away on its own after it has blossomed to prevent red noses from spreading and it is advised to quarantine. <coughs> oh. Yep, that's that's just a real issue. Oh, more wisps. Snow golems. Okay. Okay. 
Alright. Large humanoid mounds of snow that are capable of moving on their own. Homers are great. Color wheel what that floor is. Power outages. Recently, we faulty or broke heaters. Snow golems can provide hazards to humans in a variety of ways. Their tendency to target home heaters, especially during hazardous freezing weather, can cause medical issues such as frostbite or hypothermia in the infected homeowner. There's direct contact with snow golem. While it is in pursuit of its target, is also frequently fatal. All right. <coughs> Sugar wisps. Sugar wisps are an invisible subspecies of wisp known for its, uh, its ability to influence dreams and appetites of humans. All of its effective on normal craving sweets. Dreams of dancing worms and mouth. Oh, nourishment. Sugar wisps can be quite hazardous to humans' health thanks to their influence on their victims. Most preferred diet, sustain and exposure. Pusher to sugar wisps can lead to mild or severe medical problems ranging from tooth decay to diabetes to starvation. God damn! Okay, time wisps. I don't want to learn about the twilight. And the wisp one appears faint candle-like light swift of stage. They are known to temporarily displace objects or persons in time and are most active at night. Homeowners that uh, have experienced time was also important for and gratitude for life and desire to better themselves or immense existential dread. <laughs> Two complete opposite sides of the spectrum. Time was Okay. I actually need to check something. Alright, good. Just wanted to check that the background music isn't, like, super copyrighted. <clears throat> Known for its diet of fear and suffering? Should it find suspicion sounds during its time spent in your coffee proximity, it will be to consume all things that dwell above and below the soil. The twilight is a severe existential threat of all living things, so long as it finds sufficient feeding material, its hun hunger should avoid. Oh god. The twilight should be kept from its desires and at all costs until it moves past. To prevent its feeding all, in all manner of fear, agony, suff and suffering should be avoided or mitigated when at all possible. On the calendar day days of its proximity in between December 21st and December 25th. It has also been advised to spread as much cheer, celebration, and merriment during this time as is feasible. So in the Home Safety Hotline universe... The origin of Christmas festivities is warding off a eldritch enemy. Anyway, this... I'm gonna assume, because there's no other weird things mentioned, and this is the only thing that I can actually think of which causes electrical issues, pipe, uh, Pine Sprite. This is gonna be a lot harder, isn't it? I think... Something tells me that this is going to be a lot harder than the base game. Just based on that first call. Okay, cheer levels are still at 100. We're looking good. We're looking good. Um. <clears throat> okay. Okay, something something giant Please scurried hold. into the cupboard. What would scurry into a cupboard? I mean, okay. My first thought is... Oh, interesting. Some entries are removed. Tea sprites don't exist anymore. Wait. Okay. Okay, interesting. It's not all of the same ones. <coughs> Alright. 
So something that would go into the cupboard. Into the cupboard. Okay, so... Yeah, that's definitely not one of you. You're invisible. You wouldn't. I don't think anyone's gonna get diagnosed with the Twilight, because I think if you get diagnosed with the Twilight, everyone is dead already. It could be a gnome of some sort, but I doubt it. Maybe a wine sprite? Because they're pretty big. Yep, no. Doesn't seem like it, at least. Uh, probably not a raccoon. A raccoon would make sense. Wait, hang on. Are the audio samples of... No, the audio samples of the older ones are still here. Um... No, definitely not. Definitely not. Wow, this is actually already, like, insanely difficult. Um. Okay, cupboard, scurrying, and it's big. Uh, what would scurry? You wouldn't scurry, would you? I think wine sprite is the most like makes the most sense. I think I'm gonna die day one again. I didn't die day one in the first one. I died day three. Never mind. Definitely gonna die day three. All right. So you know immediately when you mess up. That's good, I guess. I think some kids are building some forts on our property. I'm looking at a bunch of big tall mounds outside our uh, house, just coming from about every angle. I need someone to come and take these down for me. I do it myself, but I'm currently recovering from a back injury after slipping on something wet in my living room this morning. Hmm. Please hold. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, yeah. Easy. I actually really like the introduction of, like, immediately being able to know when you got something wrong. That's actually such an improvement on the original game that I didn't even know that it needed. I hope the prank caller comes back. I know he died, but I hope we get a new one. The wild man is real. I've seen him. I've seen him. I know you people know about things like this. I know what you really do. I have photos. We can get these out in front of the public. The people need to know. Please, help me get this out to the world before it's too late. I know um, he's been tracking <clears throat> me. I mean, I agree, but like... Hold. I mean... Like, I, out of character, agree, but Rebecca, as someone who's very clearly uh, at least a somewhat higher up, uh, considering they're, like, a specialized worker. You're not... We're not helping you. Oh. Oh, I know what the wild man is. <clears throat> so this is definitely, I think, either Dorsha or Forgotten Boggart. Uh, Dorsha, because, like, he's very against Home Safety Hotline. I feel like we will send Dorsha after him. Okay, the cheer levels didn't go down, which implies to me that I was right. 
Oh, wait, yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even think fully about this, but strange sightings and obsession with discovery? Obvious. Anyway, he's gonna die now because he's named it. And, uh, you die when you name one of these things. Oh my god, it was mice. I... I always forget the non-supernatural, but that was mice. Oh, I'm such an idiot, it was mice. Don't want to look at you still. Paralysis. Not even paralysis. Um, weak. More. Need more. Need more. Um. Please hold. I need more. Feels a lot like a sugar wisp, and like health. You could definitely health problems such as uh, it, yeah no starvation is one of the things and like you'd be. You'd feel super weak if you were starving. That's a sugar wisp. Oh wow, sugar wisps are actually super easy to deal with, apparently. That's actually really good to know. I'll be honest. This feels like something that would have been revealed, like... Like, if this was a original game, it, I feel like it would be, like, Dorsha, and they reveal the existence of the Twilight on, like, one of the last days. Yeah. So, uh, there's strange noises coming Is this from a guy the from the base game? Uh, I don't know what's down there, but I can basement. hear it scurrying around and making little scratching noises Scurrying around, noises at little night. scratching noises at night. Uh, I don't dare go down myself, but... My wife said she found little round pellets or something what? down there. Dropping. This sounds like just a regular animal. Please hold. Like what? What animal is this? It seems most likely to be like mice or something. You wouldn't cause scratching because you're. Actually, you sound a little bit like scratching, and you could be in a basement. The ones above the soil. Oh, hello. It's going great, actually. We've only... Uh, actually, we didn't even kill them. We've only messed up with one person so far. We've only messed up with two people so far. <sighs> Clock out. God damn it. Wait, logging in user Rebecca. Uh, the game is good. What the fuck? Sorry, sorry. Sudden, like, all the lights in my house just flickered. What? Did, dude, did you see this yet? Everyone keeps forwarding this to me. I can't tell if they're taking it seriously or not. Uh, but either way, it's hilarious. Thought you'd get a kick out of it. Important Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. I... Okay. That's so funny that the chain mail is just here. 
Oh, this is what this was about. It's the daily. Tw okay. As we moderate. Was it moderate before? It was low to moderate. Yeah. Okay. So the northern the northern lights are some eldritch entity apparently, which I actually think is such a cool concept. <laughs> like I, I love this already. Oh no! Oh, the cheer levels do not reset every day. Oh, this is gonna be so much harder than the original home safety hotline. Alright, what new entries do I have? Nothing. Okay, I gotta wait for Carol. Oh, this is so much harder Greetings, than Rebecca. base game. It is Carol again. There have been reports of some new activity, so we have gone ahead and made some new information available to thee. Oh. I pray things are going well thus far. So Not do I. As well as I, what is at stake? I do hope to see thee soon, Rebecca. I actually do know as well as she does what's at stake. God, more wisps, huh? Frostbusters are so Oh, wait, appearance? I think this is the first wisp you can see. Oh, wait, no, you can see most wisps. Crystallized orbs, hollow oh, orbs, separate from frost wisps, often tend to report severing sensations. Each I need someone oh. to come fix our windows. I fear there's a terrible draft coming in, and I wouldn't want anyone at my second family gathering I think to I know who it is. Cold. I'm hosting at least 20 additional family members, and I need this place locked tight for their sakes. I've already caught something dreadful during our last hosted function, and I don't intend for it to happen again. God, the only information here is that it's cold. Please hold. Which makes this one makes sense. Direct content. Don't. Okay, don't touch them. <laughs> Hands is a human shaped husk of cloth. Rags and straw, known for sneaking into homes, domains of affluent, wealthy, and fortunate homes, occupied by its common suffer symptoms such as a strange marking the fence. Oh, wants to not directly harm those across the bathroom, but they don't have to close the letters. Huh. Lucy. Oh, hi. Lucy can be quite hazardous to any humans or pets that are present. And to steal the warmth of one bit of blooded mammals, often leaving behind their crumbled, frozen remains. The mare. The mayor. Oh! I thought that was the mayor, and I was like, oh, it's a cool little spectral entity, and then I saw this. It is known for its distinct song and unlike screeching, and its tendency to approach the entrance of homes after dark. Oh my god, wait, I know what this is based on. <clears throat> I don't- I think it's we I think it's Welsh, but there's this, like, skeleton horse thing that you have to, like, it sings about- you should let it in, and you have to sing back, like, excuses, and then if you d can't think of an excuse, then it comes in and drinks all of your wine. Yeah, I know what this is based on. I actually unironically love the mythology that this guy is from. Oh. In cave dwelling creatures typically only active at high elevations during the winter. Homeowners typically tr do not experience the regular hour or other consequences of its presence, such as. Hello, Fab. Such as Yule Men or Yule Cats. And somewhere in the fit, it, so, uh, if they fail to acquire their 
the other monsters. Their size, their size. Oof. Oh, you think that's bad? Wait until you find out about the, um... <clears throat> Wait until you find out about the Twilight. Twilight contagion seasonal virus known to cause rapid growth of white hair like was infected by the face, body, and eyes. Flick of things expected to occur within the first... Jesus Christ, this one coming from man. Okay. Subsequent blindness can be caused and creates more hazardous conditions. Yeah, the Twilight is this eldritch being that we have, and, and it's the reason why we have Christmas in the Home Safety Hotline universe. Basically, if people aren't cheery enough from December 23rd to December 25th, it eats all of reality. They feed primarily various textile and fabric. Homeowners experience heat wave cats often report sounds pissing, growling, large paws in the snow, and missing foes or neighbors. I why is missing neighbors the last thing mentioned? Fabrics can be quite hazardous to clothed homeowners if caught in their path and due to their size and speed, most human human adults and children will not survive these sorts of encounters. You a goat. Hello? Shaped apparitions that can sometimes occur in a home during the winter. Homeowners have to keep watching over strange customers. Okay, I don't know if it's paranoid. Apparitions can often be from paranoia or symptom deprivation, which is sometimes seen to keep the house. Okay. Yule men. Yule men are a subject. Of gnome that appear as small, hairy humanoids with pointed all. Oh. 13 or more. I know about that. I know what this is based on. Oh, I know what this is based on. I. Hilda was based. Like, Hilda had an episode about creatures based on something similar. I don't know their original, but I know about Hilda being based on what these are based on. They are harmless to human adults, but can be a safety hazard. God, being a child sucks in the home safety hotline universe. Like, I do, do not- oh no. Oh no. Something tells me something worse than unemployment is gonna- The packet you sent doesn't make any sense, and there is still something in our basement. I'm calling Papa Paul's pest control from now on. <laughs> Papa Paul's pest control! Anyway, yeah. Yeah, fab, it absolutely is. By the way, um... This is so much harder than the base game. Because not only is the cheer level meter a permanent thing they have to deal with, but also it's, like, pr oh, more vague. Oh, God, I'm dead! I'm dead and I'm only 33! Please say I can change this! Oh, Please I know what I this is. Please hold. Uh, this is a Time Wisp, which is seemingly based on, like... You know, like, Charles Dickens' Christmas Story, uh, It's a Wonderful li Life, that kind of thing. <laughs> Alright. What I love about the DLC is the fact that you instantly tell if you got something wrong. Oh, really? Heed this warning, Rebecca. You know, as well as I, the potential consequences of failure during this time. But perhaps this reminder may serve to further stoke thy fire. Please, for all our sakes, answer a few 
future calls with careful consideration of the cost we all pay, Rebecca. You know, the stakes of a seasonal worker are so much more intense than uh, in the original. Like, in the original, it was very personal stakes. You die, and maybe some of your callers die. In Seasonal Worker, the fate of the of all of reality is in your hands. Oh yeah, you play as a character named Rebecca kind of in this. Animal in our yard. Can you send someone out to put it out of its misery? It's been screaming like hell for the past hour, and I'm far too squeamish to go look at it or touch it myself. My son is only ten years old, and he's very worried about the poor thing, so please hurry. <laughs> you get no information, mm -hmm. huh? Um... Okay, screaming... Outside... Maybe paranoia. Like, maybe behavioral changes with, like, the... No, not you. What sits outside and screams? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it isn't an animal her or her son want to go near. At the very least, she actually does understand that. Not something that people normally do in this universe. What sound do you make? Not that. <clears throat> it definitely isn't one of those. You guys don't make any sound. Are you too? But no. Yeah, you don't make the normal sounds. Uh, maybe it's red nose, because it causes a lot of pain. Um. What screams? You kind of. No, you don't scream. You don't scream, you're just kind of- oh, wait. That's it, that's the mayor. Hell yeah! You know, I really thought I was gonna breeze through this DLC, but I'm already, like, um, a fourth of the way dead, and you don't regenerate in this one. Ugh, I think Betty's cat is on the prowl. Uh -oh. I need someone to come put that beef down! <laughs> First, Betty doesn't show up to the PTA meeting this week, and now it's hey, that's me. cat is on the loose again! Hey, I don't think cats have feathers. Please hold. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. This is difficult. Anyway, I don't think cats have feathers. Okay. So my theory is that it's false carolers. Uh, they didn't report singing. Which is one of the main things about false carolers. But. Missing neighbors and large feathers appearing around neighborhood doorsteps. Yeah, that's a false caroler. What's the solution? I think the solution is just like, don't feed them and they'll go away. Yeah. I think 
there's some kind of mold problem in our house. I Black keep mold. This nasty kind of uh, thick slime oh, that's Lucy. residue near the air vents, and I think it's scaring the pets. Our poor cat hasn't wanted to come back inside yet, so I need this fixed as soon as possible. Well, that's just Lucy. Lu her name is Lucy, Please right? Hold. Yeah, it seems highly likely to be Lucy. Oh no, is the cat dead? Okay, no. The cat is probably alive, because it specifically mentions that the cat hasn't wanted to come inside. So it seems like the cat is just kind of outside right now. All right. Cat saved. Oh, the false carolers killed the cat, didn't they? No, no. It's probably fine. I think they wouldn't, like, bother grabbing a cat, because, like... Yeah, I think they would, like, grab a person, but, like, a cat isn't worth the effort of them grabbing. What do I do in this situation? Okay, so that's definitely either an avalanche or a mountain warlock, potentially. Because I think they cause avalanches. Yeah, but there's no other, like, evidence that it's, uh... Mountain Lorelox. I'm gonna say Avalanche, and if the cheer level goes down, I'm killing. I don't know what I'm doing there, because, like, he's already dead, right? <laughs> like, he died in that, av in that Avalanche. I don't know what my info packet could do to help. I think I caught some kind of dog disease. Uh, My neighbor's freak dog sneezed on me or something, and now it's growing on me. I can feel it underneath my skin, this horrid little bump forming. It's hurting very badly. All right, I know what it is. What to do. That's definitely just red nose. Please hold. Like, basically nothing else that could have been. And, like, Red Nose and Fey Flu, I think, are the only two diseases that we have. So it's like... It's gonna be one or the other. And dogs don't transmit Fey Flu. The Fey transmit Fey Flu. Squeaking, stole gloves. And broken cameras. Very interesting, very interesting. Now, squeaking. I mean, that's really likely, actually. Uh, what about you? What noises do you make? 
because I think you steal clothes, don't you? No, you don't. What else steals clothes? I know there's a lot that a lot of stuff that steals clothes now. But um Not you. Not you. Definitely not you. Uh No. I think it's a troll. Oh, crossing my fingers. Oh. Eighty-seven point five percent accuracy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The festive tier level is too is getting low, but it's fine. It's fine. Ronnie. Oh no. I don't know if you've heard already, but pest control department has been panicking and sending out vans all morning. I think something big might be going down. I know I have a lot of your plate all, all, already, so I'll figure out. So I figure I'd give you a heads up. Also, happy Christmas Eve. Hope you've been good this year. Daily Twilight Report. Oh, it's within active feeding range. Tier levels should be closely monitored. I'm a little disappointed that there isn't, like, any, uh, videotapes this time. Those were, like, one of my favorite parts of the original. Okay, clock in. I'm ready, Carol. <clears throat> Carol. Carol. SH Pest Control, what? listen up. The Mouse King is loose, and it's our understanding he means to stir up trouble of the Yuletide variety. <laughs> My boys are working around the clock to find him and stop him in his tracks before things get too hairy, but sometimes things slip through the cracks. Little things, if you get my meaning. If you hear anything strange, let us know as soon as you can. Oh. There's new data coming your way. Read it carefully. Keep those eyes peeled. Hudson uh, out. Okay, one, what happened to Carol, two, the, the, the Mouse King is loose, and it's our understanding he means to stir up trouble of the Yuletide variety, was in the trailer, and it made me laugh so hard. I don't like you. Known to visit on winter nights, with adorned animal friends, and the mouse bring a friendly visit. Break-ins, finding berries that might have used for the floor. Or de- oh, okay. Do not pose any mortal harm to humans. We need someone to come check our house for damage. <clears throat> I think I felt an earthquake last night. And this morning, I noticed those godless Hendersons across the street crying about something with the police. So I'm fairly sure whatever happened must have been enough to damage our property. Oh, God. That's Please, nowhere near enough information. My assumption is that, like, they're crying to the police because someone, someone's gone missing. So it's probably something causes earthquakes and makes people go missing. Fire remix, by the way.
Wait. Oh my god, wait. Hang on. I kind of love the not at all evil entities. What? Oh no. Oh no. The locomotive. Only be seen with Okay. Rumbling at night, missing children. Oh, the Mouse King! <clears throat> Wait, interesting. So the Mouse King is actually very different from the Rat King. It's just the audio sample for mice. Interesting. Not interesting. Not interesting. Horrible. Horrible. Hey, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I hope I never have to do anything with that. The same. Thick robes and often riding a pale horse like creature. The saint is known for traveling through the through snow storms at night, leaving strange artifacts under such storms. Often the saint's arrival is followed by the sick. The saint's arrival by the saint can often result in the gift received. You are experiencing great fortune and luck. For a span of 30 years after the 30 year period, the saint will return to collect their dues. It is not ex advised to accept these gifts. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ew! Usually after a snowstorm has passed, homeowners often report the sound of chains and hooves, broken doors and windows, and missing children. The sound is highly dangerous to human children that cross its path. It is an attractive sight to be found in that sight. The walls are too large to be Oh, hello. <coughs> I've been exposed to the effects of the hunt. Oh. Coming in a rather unfortunate black bird that has been found rather wild and unpredictable and violent behavior. All of these creatures come from self government coffee and hacking. It's not really dangerous when attempt to bite or otherwise harm the most humans and animals in their sight. Their relative speed and strength can, can find them very, though it is most of the encounters are fatal. <coughs> Alright, what was the thing that I think this is? I think it was like a train, right? Right, the locomotive. It's the locomotive. Alright! What's the solution? Okay.
Wow, so children just cannot leave- children and pets just cannot go anywhere uh, from the 21st to the 25th of December. The information we received was useless. Yep. Now nearly everyone in my family is sick, thanks to you. Oh, Merry it was an elf. Indeed. Oh, they, they definitely had an elf. Guys, I'm not making spirits bright. I have been robbed. Okay. Someone broke into my house and completely cleaned out the fridge oh, and out. Oh. Night. There's wine all over my floors, discarded milk jugs. It's absolutely disgusting. I demand a okay. refund for this useless security package you people sold me it's only good for hearing thieves cackle after the fact okay cackling okay no. break in eats all the food cackles i know we read something about that but i don't really remember what it was uh i don't think it's you Definitely not you, because you're, like, just an obelisk thing. Maybe a dwarf? No. Not an elf. Not a false artifact, not a false caroler. The gift hag doesn't seem likely. Yeah, because... Hans... No. Definitely not the hunt. Not you. The mare seems likely. Is it like... No, because it doesn't break in. You have to be invited in... It has to be invited. Maybe Mouse King. Because, like, a bunch of mice grabbing food, but that's unlikely. No. Uh, not the saint or the sinner. I know we read something. What about you? Oh no, that's the... I need to remember the name of that so I can never look at it again. Um... So it broke in and ate just a large amount of stuff. Right, do you eat stuff? I feel like you don't eat a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I, I swear we read something about a break-in and then, like, eating everything. Break-in and then eats everything in the fridge. I mean, it doesn't... Huh. I'm gonna say it's actually the mayor, because it doesn't specifically actually mention, like... It's not actually confirmed that they broke in. Like, she says they broke in, but it's not really... Oh, this is wrong. Oh, no. Okay, I have no idea what else that could have been. All I know is that the mayor is actually pretty chill. A lot of the entities in this are nowhere near as, like, deadly as in the first game. What? It's in the ceiling? Oh, this is the goat, isn't it? Can I coffee? God, it's in the wallpaper. Oh, please, make it go away. Make this godforsaken demon go away. 
please. Oh. That's definitely a Yule Goat, right? What's the solution for Yule Goats? Good, we're looking good. Please hold. Okay. So I mean like Interesting to me that we've gotten an avalanche, like, more than once. I think there's something weird going on with the avalanches. I don't have any... still locked entities, so I'm gonna assume that, like, just some mountain warlock got awakened somewhere. Hudson here. Pay attention, I've got word from the boys that the Mouse King was last seen wearing a disguise. I repeat, the Mouse King has gone incognito. Be on okay. the lookout for any conspicuous individuals of a rodent-adjacent variety. Hudson out. Okay, Hudson. I- I will. It's actually very interesting to me that, like, Instead of the Rat King, it's the Mouse King. Like, it makes sense with the HSH lore of, like... And I found this out off-stream. I didn't even realize until I watched a video off-stream, but you turn into a mouse when you're fired from HSH. Hey, I think some kind of wild animal's in my house. Our poor wooden floors are scratched to hell and back, and there's a bunch of sap and needles and stuff. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, the dog barking is also a clue. Please hold. So that's almost definitely you, right? No, because that. No, no, it can't be you. It can't be you, because the dog is alive. Yeah. Yeah, no, because it, it would it would have killed the dog. So it, it can't be that. Um... But the only other thing that leaves, like, pine needles and sap is a pine sprite. And that wouldn't have, like, scratched stuff up. So no, I actually think it is a, uh, thing I can't pronounce. All right, hell yeah. image again to read, but I think... Uh... 
Um, no, because it seems like it doesn't actually, like, steal the skin, which is kind of what I was thinking. Alright, Scarecrow in the attic, people acting weird. Scarecrow in the attic, people acting weird. You're kind of scarecrow like. Yeah, you're, you're, you actually do look a little scarecrow like. Yes! I... I am so good at this. Genuinely, this is like... I... I am so good at this. Our house is falling apart! The floorboards are cracking, the doors aren't closing properly, and nothing is raining anymore. Something very strange is happening, and I suspect it has something to do with my neighbor's renovation project. I've been seeing people hauling around giant rocks all week. Who knows if they damaged something on my property? Okay, giant rocks. Please hold. That's definitely a, uh... Yeah, because you're giant rocks. Maybe? I'm actually not sure anymore. Okay, damaged floorboards, giant rocks. No, no, this is the only thing. Like, damage to foundation would cause damaged floorboards, and sinking would make the doors mess up. Okay, yeah. God, instantly knowing if you got it wrong is so goaded. Competition? hell would grab a gingerbread house and burn it outside. No. Oh, wait. These guys are, like, mischievous, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's evil men, because they're kind of they're kind of goofy and kind of silly. All right, well, I need to take a piss. I'm not sure who else to call about this. I'll listen to this but, first, though. Um, something very weird is going on in our neighborhood. Some strange man in a, a large trench coat and Halloween mask is going around ringing neighbors' doors, carrying some kind of paper or, or a note. He hasn't come to my house yet, but I'm very afraid of what they might be up to. Huh? Pepper! Pepper! Okay. Pepper, stop scratching the door! He's going to think we're home! Okay. So the cat... 
hat. I'm back and I know- Wait, is my microphone- Hang on. You didn't see that. Uh. Hang on. I... Can the stream hear me? Okay, the stream can hear me. Uh, hang on. Uh, ba 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 Okay. Alright, I think I just accidentally turned on the volume. Anyway. I... Crackpot conspiracy theory? Cat is yowling. And someone wearing, like, a Halloween mask going around carrying some kind of paper note. Please hold. It's the Mouse King. This is the Mouse King, because it's it's in a human disguise now. If this is right, I'm going to be so proud of myself. I genuinely was, like, half expect- I was really expecting to be wrong there. Wait, what is it doing? Um... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This, okay, okay. The gingerbread came alive. And robbed her. What even causes that? What, what even causes that? I need you to send out someone to change out our locks. My mother-in-law has finally gone far enough, and I've had it with her. What? I don't know how, but I think she's managed to get a copy of my key okay. to come in and leave these creepy little dolls for my kids <gasps> at night. Oh! I saw that old bag myself on the security camera. It's a, it's a bit fuzzy, but I can make out those crony old arms of hers. I know! Oh my god, it's the gift tag! I love the gift tag. Don't do anything about the gift tag. The gift tag is pleasant. Let the gift tag live. You know, I'm betting the, like, mass... A bunch of noise in the basement was also the Mouse King. I bet the Mouse King just, like, appears every so often. Okay, I think this is the next, like, the final day. I think, like, the main content of this DLC is almost up. I am so excited to see the ending, but also so terrified to see the ending. Twilight Report. Increase levels of cheers and reading is highly advised. Yep, okay. Anyway. Hey, what are you doing here on Christmas, dog? Unfortunately, both know why. I'm sorry, this always falls on your plate, Becca. Especially with the extra madness going on at Pass Control this year. Today's gonna be a rough one. We're hoping to see you tomorrow, dude. Well, ha- Oh, the thank you for this past year. Okay. So, obviously, the reason why the Christmas party is held the day after Christmas is because of the- uh, is because of the twilight only going away after Christmas. So, that just makes a lot of sense, I guess. 
Although it'd make a lot of sense for them to throw the party on Christmas. Because, like, you'll have a few workers working, but, like... For the most part, you'll have a bunch of your employees spreading cheer. Although I guess they're in the... I guess they're under the soil, so... They're... they're so... I don't know. Hudson here. Woo! We almost had him, but that little royal pain has given us the slip. He was last seen hightailing it towards the head office with his swarm in tow. I repeat, Wait. you have a whole gaggle of mice coming your way. What? My boys are coming in to break the walls down. We're gonna seize the king no matter what. Okay. Tell your so what was up, the I paper? They're gonna have plenty of work ahead of them tomorrow. That's how it has to be. Hudson out. I know what the paper was. The paper. Because they can't speak, but they can write. Wait. Wait, permissions have been... There... Wait. No, I don't have it. I don't have anything new. Critical cheer immunity. Huh. It's actually the Mouse King is actually getting a little worrying. Like, oh no. Greetings, Rebecca. I'm certain that you've seen the skies today. The light's gaze has fallen upon us. I'm calling to wish you and the rest of the caller response team the best of fortunes. I know I need not remind thee that this day is one of great import, and is to be treated with the utmost gravity. Spread much merriment and cheer to all you can, and I hope to see you all on the morrow. Yes, ma'am. So I, I have 50% cheer levels remaining, which means... I, I, I assume I die at 0%. It would be kind of dumb if there's, like, that percentage bar, and you don't die at 0%, you die at, like, 20 or something. Uh, so I can get quite a few wrong, but I'm still going to try to get none of them wrong here. I think that was Santa. <sighs> what the hell even drinks milk? And disappears. Okay. Hail Mary? When in doubt, it's the Mouse King. Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. The thieves, they came back. There's so many of them. I'm afraid to leave the cover. Please, send help. Oh my god. The- I'm such an idiot. The one that I thought was the mayor was actually the Yule men. Yeah, they ste- they broke- they break windows and steal food. And they giggle. Is it normal for a northern lass to show up in broad daylight for us folks in Texas? This guy's been looking real strange all day. Could a power plant be leaking nearby or something? Looks like this guy went all radioactive, if you know what I mean. I mean, Please, oh. I do know what you mean. And I don't think you want to know what I... I and I don't think you want to know what I know. You know what you mean. What, what do I even tell them? Just like, hey, yeah, there's an eldritch entity that's gonna kill us all if you don't start partying. So... Was there, like, a clapping sound? I know the Rat King is in the building with me right now, which I don't... Like, before all the horrors were confined behind the screen, 
And now, there's canonically, they have something in the same building as me. They tried taking my baby! Who? I, I, I boarded everything up. But I think I made them mad. I hear something coming. Something coming from the mountains. Listen to this! You have to help me! Are, are you something I failed? No, you're not Please something. Please hold. Okay. I mean, my immediate thought is... Oh no. Oh no, no, no! We went so long without network errors, I assumed they didn't exist anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be you. Oh! Okay. Is the network back? Oh no, the network isn't back. It's- it's the Rat King! Oh no, 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 the Rat King is causing the network outage. Alright, um, okay. Hell yeah, network is back. Uh, solution. I contacted the authorities about this pervert crisis, but they told me to call you instead. Last night, I saw my neighbor darting through the neighborhood completely in the nude. The pervert looked like he was terrified of being caught, as he's right to be. I need you to send someone over to arrest this nuisance right now. I mean, I would personally assume that there's, like, something... Oh. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait. Yule cats eat fabric. Okay. Anyway, I personally would assume if I saw one of my neighbors, like, running down the street looking terrified, and they were naked, I'd be like, oh, someone got into their house. Uh, and they could not escape. Well, they could escape, but they needed to go fast. The call sound was a bit different. Oh, oh, thank God you answered. I don't know how long we have before the power goes out again, but please, Bogger. you have to send somebody out here. I'm at 451 Grover Lane. Don't, oh, I'm, I'm streaming. I'm, it's really, really bad. Dude, I'm streaming. Don't dock yourself on the home safety the hotline. On her walk, and now she's in pain. I didn't know who else to call. What do I do? Okay, storm is really bad, power outages, someone went out and is in pain. Hunt, right? That's gotta be the hunt. Please hold. Oh god, the, the power outage is like persistent. Oh no, it's like the final test from the original game, where you don't get to read the entries. Okay. Okay. We're spreading some damn Christmas cheer. I mean, like, Please hold. I, I know Rule of Freeze, it's probably the Warlock now, but like, there's no actual evidence of the Warlock, but, oh, okay. Mm 
the cheer levels are going down. Everyone is dying. And yet I heed no consequences. Hey, yeah, there's something real strange happening outside our house. Okay. The, the sky looks all green, and I... I have a bad feeling about it. Oh, no, you bad don't. Feeling. No, you don't have a bad feeling about it. You have a merry oh. feeling about it. You're feeling happy and jolly. You're feeling nice and happy and jolly, and you will not ruin it for the rest of us. someone trying to spy on my son Richie and I. Just the other night while it was raging outside, some prankster with a death wish came to our door and just absolutely hammered on it and left before I could answer. This kid left some kind of weird looking orb on our porch so I oh. put it into the trash. Probably some kind of spy camera to case the joint with. Oh, you're safe. Oh, thank God. For a second I was like, oh, he put it in the trash. He's dead because he brought it inside but no he punted it into the trash which means it didn't enter his home which means he's safe from the saint my info still got oh my info's back oh my info is back thank goodness I'm shocked reanimations have not, like, appeared at all in, in, like, any capacity. No, 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 uh-uh, no, uh-uh. Don't like it. So what is Rebecca's role in the company? Like, how high up is she? Okay, so I thought um, it was going to be... Oh, god damn it. So I think it's the antlers, but... <clears throat> in, literally until that last bit of detail, I thought it was a, a right, which is like... Um, the effect of the hunt, like the deformed creatures that like run around trying to bite people. Very zombie-esque, huh? The Mouse King is in the walls right now, and it is chewing the internet cables. Hello. Are the lines still open? We just spent the night in our bunker during last night's storm. <clears throat> it sounds like a ghost town out there. It's dead silent, save for the sound of some wandering souls coughing their lungs out. Drop a deuce on us. Please confirm. Over and okay. Out. Please hold. So I'm actually not sure if this would be considered a right or the hunt, because the hunt seems to be over. But the the hunt is what happened. So I'm gonna say it's I'm gonna say it's the hunt. Oh, no, I should have answered right, I guess. Okay. 
We're still fun. We're still fun. What's happened to my husband? I came home from a trip and... Oh, God! It's horrible! The police won't do anything. Please, send someone! What kind of sick person would do something like this? Oh. Please hold. Oh, I know what happened. Oh no. God, these are. <laughs> Honestly, the persistent network errors are making this hell. Uh, there's, like, a sort of uncomfortableness of, like, the Rat King is definitely in the building. I mean, Mouse King. Sorry, Rat King, Mouse King, completely different entities. But yeah, the Mouse King is in the building. And it's uncomfortable. They breached the bunker! I repeat! It was right. They I should have said rights. You know what? I unironically, I think he's gonna make it out of there alive. Cause like he's he's just fighting like pretty much horribly mutated people who they're not, like, zombie mutated where they get a lot stronger. No, they're, like, just kind of disfigured. And they can't use weapons, and he has a gun. He's gonna win. The, the lights, they're so beautiful. No, they're not. I well, they are beautiful, actually. So yeah. Empty. The lights are beautiful. So the we lights hold. are beautiful. Network error? No. Alright, so I know it's the twilight. I just want to read up on it again, because it's, like... I'll be honest, it is a little shocking that the Twilight wasn't revealed, like, today. Because, like, it never actually came up as an entity until today. And today is when it's, like, majorly kinda important. But I actually really like the... The foreshadowing more of it just being you here. Okay. I, that seems like the center. Interesting, though, that, like, the saint just full-on protects you from the center if you don't remove the gift. So I guess him punting... I, I guess him punting the thing was not... Not good. I don't know what was going on there. That's concerning. I think there's something wrong with our heating system. Oh, I know what it is. All the windows open right now because we're just boiling a lot. Oh, I don't know what it is. I've gone to the basement to manually turn off the heater, but somehow it keeps getting turned back on and cranked up way too high. Hang on. 
Okay, Please that's weird. Hold. There was like a there's a difference between the what they said and the audio. Anyway, um... so my actual kind of assumption is a a troll. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. What what would turn up the heat in a house? Because most of these creatures are, like, cold-based, it seems like. So, what would turn up the heat? Uh, this, this feels a lot like it's, um... This is probably a base game uh, entity, right? Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I, none of the new ones would cause a house to heat up, it feels like. But neither would any of the old ones. Um, I guess troll is the most likely answer, because they're, like, the only one who are explicitly said to, like, enjoy warmth, so they would turn up a heater, I guess, but, like, I don't know how they would get in a basement, or how she wouldn't notice any other side effects, but... For a split second there, I thought I got it right, and I was unironically baffled. What? Oh god, I'm so stupid. They're dwarves. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, why don't- what is happening? Carol? Carol, you better be here to help me. Carol. You're not Carol. Yes, you can. You can bear it. Just keep the festivities. It's coming for us. For all of us. Keep up the festivities. Please, you have to keep up the festivities. If you don't keep up the festivities... You don't want to find out what happens if you don't keep up the festivities. You've got to keep up the festivities. Oh my god. This, this is unironically, like, oh. Like, the first Home Safety Hotline definitely had its scary moments, but like, the combination of the Mouse King being in the walls and the Twilight getting ever closer. This is a, this is terrifying. Hudson here. First off, you're welcome. Oh. Me and the boys had to make quite a mess to do it, but we finally yep. done it. I know you did. Yeah, that's right. We got you, Your Majesty. The rest of them scattered to the winds as soon as we captured their not so mighty leader. Spread the good news around the office and maybe call the IT department, some carpenters, and a plumber as soon as you can. Pretty sure that pipe is gonna burst one way or another anyway. What? Happy Yuletide season's greetings, Hudson out. God, Hudson is so funny. <laughs> I love Hudson. Best character. Okay, so the so the network errors are probably done now. Because they caught the Mouse King. That doesn't deal with the eldritch horror that's rapidly approaching us, but... You have worked the miracle once yes. again, Rebecca. Thanks to you, the Life's Watch has passed over us once again. You are truly a lifesaver. 
Okay. As a friendly reminder, the office Christmas party begins on the morrow, so we had best see you there. May the Yule shine upon me and be ever merry, Rebecca. Wow. Oh! Okay, Carol, hell yeah. I want that shirt. <clears throat> God, Rebecca looked so uncomfortable in that last photo. I- Oh, hell yeah, Trevor Henderson! Trevor Henderson made the false caroler? Ooh. Karaoke. <gasps> what? <laughs> what is this image? <laughs> what is the little creature? <laughs> okay, there is definitely a little creature that, like... Is that a troll's doll? They caught the creature and forced it to drink. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my shit at that one. Oh. Alright, let's see. What have I unlocked? Okay, new options. And credits. And Oh, and... Weekly report. Didn't do great, actually. What is the new option? Okay. 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 I, yeah, I don't see anything. Huh. That was actually really fun. I really did enjoy that. Um... I will be streaming when I'm 100%ing these two games. Because, like, I gotta 100% them. <laughs> they're, s the, the, they're screaming to me. The art book is really cool. I'll read. Oh, it was a hob. Oh, they caught a hob. Yeah, I I I love like horror comedy. I guess it's- oh my god. <laughs> it definitely is. really interesting. This seems like the entities are... Oh. Oh, interesting. I 
be a mix between mosquitoes and my traditional fairy design. Yeah, I have no idea what... Oh! Okay, that... That's funny. Exclusive deals. Used horseshoe. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually, that it was, like, originally normal. <coughs> huh. Oh, the promotion crown. Oh! Alright, I think it's time for some call training. What do you say? <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, seems like this doesn't have the winter entities. I'm so close to adding the button to skip call wait time. Alright. Help me. Okay. Oh, so this is like a... very different experience. Just got back from the killing page and I had fever we weren't able to hire anyone to warn the community of the most recently vacation from all the pain and the pain of the Vacation, okay, vacation vaca uh tra travel or whatever it's called. The the the, the gnome. Nope, not a trash gnome. Oh my god. That would have been so bad. Travel gnome. Oh god, this is actually an insanely difficult mode. I should definitely do... Like, I'm gonna get as far as I can in this, but I should definitely make this its own Help stream. Me. I don't know how to get back to my life. This is my life. This one. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, this is so stressful. I am in trouble. Leaves. Oh my goodness, what did you just cry? Fill my hands. Please hold. Uh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Um, um, oh, okay, cabinets full of leaves. That sounds like a garden, a garden gnome, right? Right? Because it, 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 it brings in all the, the dirt and stuff, and it's a garden gnome. No, garden, whatever. Uh... Or is it a, a travel gnomes the one that create ones that create gardens? I genuinely don't know. Uh, okay, okay. Travel gnome, travel gnome, travel gnome, travel gnome, travel gnome, travel gnome. Okay, it's it's a travel gnome.
Okay, it wasn't a travel gnome. Help me. Please hold. Okay, okay, okay. Night gnome, night gnome. Uh, why is my time getting shorter? Help me. Okay, okay, um, 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 that should be a warlock remnant, right? Oh my god, this mode is genuinely stressful. Help me. Please hold it. Night Wisp. I'm good at this. Okay. Okay. Help me. Something is in my house. It's ready for putting all of the poisons. I think it's weird. What I need to do about this. Please money hold it. Money for prints, money for prints. Uh, money for prints? That sounds a lot like a travel gnome. Okay. Yeah, I could have seen that one coming. Alright. There is one more thing that I want to do before I end stream. Now, my... Okay, so things I need to do. I want to 100% uh, both modes, so I want to get all answers right on both modes. But I'm not doing that uh, today. I want to get a good score in uh, call training. And I also... And this is the one I am doing right now. I want to see the seasonal worker game over. Okay, Christmas Day. Let's see what the game over is. seen the skies today. Shut up. Us. I'm calling to wish you and the rest of the caller response team the best of fortunes. I know I need not remind thee that this day is one of great import and yep. is to be treated with the utmost gravity. Spread much merriment and cheer to all you can 
and I hope to see you all on the morrow. Yep, got it. I still have no idea what this actually is. That? I don't know, that sounds to me... That sounds to me like an animation. Alright. We're finding out what this game over is. Yep, this is one I already messed up. Uh-oh. I should also get all the consequence calls, I think. I think that would be fun. To be, like, on stream, find out what all the consequence calls are. I'm also definitely gonna have Ness and Locke play these. I don't know which one I'm gonna have play it, but I, I'm gonna have at least one. Maybe both, but I don't know. At least... Ness or Locke, I'm gonna have one of them play this. Is it normal for a Northern Lass to show up in broad daylight for us folks in Texas? This guy's been looking real strange all day. Could a power plant be leaking nearby or something? Looks like this guy went all radioactive, if you know what I mean. Cause like, um... I mean, I have the game, and it's really not one that you have to be... Anyway, that sounds like an avalanche, specifically the one with the controller, to, like, enjoy it to its fullest. So, like, I don't know. I die before I get the consequence call on this one because I don't coming. want the consequence call something on this coming one. From the mountain. Listen to this. You have to help me. Please hold. That sounds like an animation. I'm probably gonna get a call from Carol soon, actually. I keep forgetting I have the next call button that I don't just have to sit here waiting. What is this thing in our house? I saw it hide behind our couch, it's hideous! Come and get this little thing out of our house this instant! <laughs> yeah, I do not know. Seriously, why are we not a, uh, the like he was terrified of an emergency number? Like, right seriously, why? I why aren't we? Over to this <clears throat> right now. Please hold. Uh, that, that sounds like a reanimation. Oh, that's a line in the trailer. I didn't even realize it the first time. Answer future calls with careful consideration of the cost we all pay, Rebecca. I refuse. Oh, oh, thank God you answered. I don't know how long we have before the power goes out again. But please, you have to... 
to send somebody out here. I'm at 451 Grover Lane. The storm is bad. It's really, really bad. And my mom got caught in a storm on her walk, and now she's in pain. I didn't know who else to call. What do I do? Power outages, huh? Please hold. That sounds to me... Like... A bogger... killing these people. <laughs> it's not even funny. I'm a horrible person. I didn't want the consequence call. Ugh. Oh no, that is a painful consequence call. Sir, that's a memory wisp. Ten percent. I'm not sure if I can die. I'm pretty sure I'm, like, I'm pretty far along, I think. I think I don't die here. What is this crap your people sent me? While this pervert is running free, you're here wasting my precious time and my- What's that sound? Well, this is gonna be a bad one. Some of these consequence calls are not great. Hey, yeah, there's something real strange happening outside our house. The, the sky looks all Wait, green I just realized that I, when you misidentify the twilight, it doesn't. A real bad feeling. It doesn't. Please oh. hold. Ooh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I think this is it. I think this is the last call. Right, I have the button. There's someone trying to spy on my son, Richie, and I. Just the other night, while it was raging outside, some prankster with a death wish came to our door and just absolutely hammered on it and left before I could answer. This kid left some kind of weird-looking orb on our porch, so I punted it into the trash. Probably some kind of spy camera to case the joint with. Uh, I think that's the sinner. Please hold. Alright, this should be it. This should, um... Oh, cheer level's critical. I'm not sure if this means death or if this means, like, last chance. I am able to meet out pales in comparison to what will now transpire. Return to thy home and enjoy the last few precious moments of this fertile earth while it remains. Farewell, Rebecca. Oh. Ooh. Oh no. Okay. Cutscene, or is it just the call? Christmas is ruined. Christmas is ruined, guys. Ugh. Uh, well... I, I am... about to end stream. I am. 
there is something, something that I'd like to show you first. So, I, I have started this little passion project. Let me close Home Safety Hotline because you're not watching it, because you're not, like, seeing it anymore. But, uh, so I've started this little passion project, and I'd like to show it to you. Uh, it's going to take me a second to get this on screen, but it shouldn't be too long. All right, now I just gotta... I am currently working on a home safety hotline fan project called Home Safety Hotline Front Desk. And this is my official announcement on my Twitch that I'm the person doing this. There have been some posts on the account of it, like that's the account dedicated to it about its existence, but this is my uh, my confirmation that I am involved in it. 